Hi, Hi fellow birdies, birdies and welcome, welcome back, back to another, another edition, edition of Somber's Eating, Eating Show. Show. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a food review of this brand new ice cream that recently just mm -hmm. hit stores at Walmart shops. Now, this is by called a brand called Van Leeuwen. And they are known for making vegan ice cream as well as like, these look like some pretty interesting flavors. Like, mm -hmm. is that macaroni and cheese? Yes. I would never have imagined all my years of my life I've seen macaroni and cheese ice cream. Mm -hmm. So we're going to give these a taste test and see how we like them. Now, Van Leeuwen has been in business since 2008 and they started on the streets of New York City in a yellow truck. And they grew from there. Mm -hmm. So this has French ice cream, and I've never really had French ice cream before, so are you ready? I am. Which one do you want to try first? I want to try the wedding cake. Alright. Alright, so this is called Royal Wedding Cake with Elderflower and Lemon. Hmm. So maybe you'll have like lemon cake pieces in it or something? Let's see. That's what it looks like. Cheers. This tastes a bit lemony. Mm -hmm. I also taste some lemon cake pieces, like you see right there. I think you guys can see it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can not just taste them, but you know, feel them. You know. Like. Mm-hmm. This is royal wedding cake, inspired by the cake sold at a certain royal wedding in 2018. Mm -hmm. This is the closest thing you'll get to feeling like a royal. Floral sweet cream cheese ice cream with chunks of lemon sponge cake with layers of elderflower frosting. There you go. I never lemon. had elderflower, but it seemed, it's very tasty. Lemon sponge cake. Like, it reminds me of the lemon apricot cake I used to make with my mom all the time. Mmm. Mmm, good. Mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> One thing I like about this ice cream it's that it's nice and creamy, mm -hmm. got a good texture, and I love the huge chunk pieces of lemon. Well, for me, I also like, you know, the frosting a lot. Mm -hmm. Like, I always like birthday cake layer ice cream. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of it's like a little bit more, I want to say refined, kind of. Like, there's, you know, you know, some lemon mixed in, you know, some, you know, frosting. In. And this makes you wish I'd been at that wedding. <laughs> I'm not sure what... Elderberry tastes like like what is it? Remind you of? Apparently it's the frosting. So whatever the frosting tastes like that that's elderberry. I've never had elderberries before, so I'm not familiar with how elderberry tastes, but this one to me eight and a half. Love it. Let's see now. I'm definitely adding this to my plate if I go to like to, to a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Whether the restaurant just for it. Hmm. That's just amazing. Those cake pieces. It's definitely in competition with you know, my favorite ice creams. Let's see now. I'm gonna give this a nine. That's a pretty good rating for ice cream. The like stuff is good. Like. At Walmart, I think it's worth the money because these pints are about five bucks each. Yeah. Enough said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> very, very good quality. All flavors, but each one of them is distinct. You can taste each one of them. None of it clashes. It combines well. Like, this is a very good, you know, bit of ice cream. Very good quality ice cream. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up so far. I'm wanting to try the most. Let's do some mac and cheese, guys. Like I said, never imagine mac and cheese ice cream. So, nothing makes us happier than this craft mac and cheese ice cream. If this reminds you of the ice cream you grew up with, you might be out of your mind. If this reminds you of a comforting bowl of craft mac and cheese you grew up with, you're getting warmer because we did make this ice cream with that buttery sweet iconic cheese you bet. Hmm. All right, let's try it out. Cheers. I can smell the cheddar. Smell the cheddar. The cheese. I assume it's cheddar. It is cheddar, right? Yeah. Hmm. How does this work? What? It works. It tastes like vanilla cheesy ice cream. Mm. 
They turn cheese into ice cream, but how does it taste so good? What's well, that? For me, it's not that great. Like, it's decent. It's good. I like it. But I'm not blown away with this one. The other one blew away. <laughs> like, it's got a nice cheesy taste to it, but like, somehow that and the vanilla and this, like, it just, I see a taste of it, but this works. And it's so creamy, like, Wow. <laughs> I wonder if that's because the egg, because apparently I'd read on the one of the box that if you use twice as much egg as standard ice cream, you get like, it's called French ice cream for some mm -hmm. reason. Like the reason it's French ice cream is because it's got an extra egg in it. it this is like makes it more creamy. I don't know. I don't know, like, not saying it's bad. Wow. I like it. Just not that it's, you know, blown, it's not blown away. Like it's. I'm blown away because. I would have never imagined eating this in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. This gets a solid nine for me. I'm giving mine. I still see myself adding to my plate, so I'm gonna give it like mm. seven, seven and a half. If you guys have a, you know mac and cheese ice cream, get it. These are all limited edition. Might not be around forever. And I think when it first came out, like a couple weeks ago on their website they sold out within like a few hours <laughs> they didn't have any left available so yeah this next one we're going to try is called hot honey <laughs> now nothing makes us happier than this hot honey ice cream if you've never drizzled hot honey onto your ice cream raise your hand what is hot honey i think it's like kind of spicy honey or oh, i might be thinking something else no, really, it's a combination you might not think of until you try it and then think, how have I ever tried this before? It's like that. So we've made things easy for you. No honey jar required. <laughs> I'll see how it works. Let's try it. All right, let's try it. All right, let's see it. Hmm. The decoration of honey. That's some sort of pieces of something in it too, like maybe that's... I think that is the honey. Honey? Hmm. I probably, you know, it was frozen by the, you know, ice cream. Mmm. Got a crunch. Mm hmm. Mmm. This is very interesting. I could see being like a good one for ASMR. Mm hmm. Like especially the cookies and creams ice creams. It's like they got the chocolate, the cookie pieces in it, and the crunch. This is mm -hmm. like that, but it's not flavored. Yeah, it says, let's see, tapioca starch chili peppers. Ooh. <clears throat> That's probably why I am getting a little bit of spice. This has got molasses in it, too. I'm trying to get a little bit of kick to myself. Mm hmm This is kind of like a sweet, spicy ice cream. Mm hmm Like, I love the sweet flavor of the honey, but I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the chili peppers, though. I am. <laughs> Let's see now. So, I also like the little chunks of honey in it too. Mm -hmm. It kind of really brings out the sweet flavor more. Yep. Let's see now. I like the, you know, the little bit of spice added to it. You know me. Um, the honey works well. I also like the you know, crunch. It's you know, surprisingly good. <laughs> Let's see now. I mean, I'm enjoying each bite. Yeah, do you have to say that's your favorite so far? That one? Because it's definitely not my favorite, but it's nice, but like, I don't, I don't like the heat. Not quite. I love the you know, wet and thick one. <laughs> but this one still gets a nice solid eight and a half out of me. I would give this one, like I said, I like the sweetness of it. But the peppers really take away my enjoyment. That is, of course, just my preference. So, I have to say, like, seven. This is not, definitely not my favorite one. It's time for the last one we were able to obtain. It's called Bourbon Cherries Jubilee. So, let's see. Um, 
Nothing makes us happier than this bourbon cherry jubilee ice cream. Not a flame went near the sweet cream ice cream, but we didn't blend in swirls of bourbon cherry compote, so this flavor is still wet. I think it's compote. By compote. Uh, so it looks like inside. Oh, you can see the swirls. So mm -hmm. let's try it out. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mmm. I definitely love the taste of cherries. Like, I never really had cherries that often. Definitely a nice sweet cherry flavor too. Like, it doesn't taste artificial. Mm. Indeed, for me, the cherries are a little bit on the tart side. Mm-hmm. Let's see it. I'm not sure what there is other than the cherries. I'm trying to think of any other flavors. Let's see. Bourbon, lemon juice, carrot, and black currant juices. Do you say carrot or currant? It says carrot. So okay. it's for color. I like how tart the cherries are. Although I do like sweet cherries too. But I feel like that the tart cherries work more together well with the sweet ice cream. So for me, that was definitely better than the honey one. <laughs> this would probably have to be like my third favorite behind the Kraft Mac and Cheese, which is first. The wedding cake, which is second for me, and this one is the third. So, I have to give this one an eight. What about you? For me, hmm, I'm not a fan. Like, it's not bad. Like, I put Ifu in front of me. Like, and I want to make it clear I'm very biased here. I'm not a super fan of cherries. Like, I'll eat them. They're okay. They're good. You know, eat some cherry pie. Sure. Still, um, in terms of fruit, it's not one of my favorites. Let's see it. I'm going to give this a six and a half. Yeah, like, we're both more fans of, like, I guess, what is it, strawberries sort of thing. Like, say, a strawberry ice cream. Mm -hmm. um, we don't typically eat cherries because, well, frankly, it's like the only time we eat cherries is, like, if it's in a like topping a milkshake or something maybe or a pie <laughs> or a pie exactly it's like there's uh some people that we know of that love cherry pie and uh mm -hmm. we eat that sometimes during the year too so but overall i am very impressed with the quality of van lewin ice cream um mm -hmm. you guys got a walmart in your area please go and check out van lewin ice cream and, of course, if you don't have Walmart in your area, you can also buy it online. It's a little bit more pricey, expensive, but mm -hmm. I really think it's worth the money because this is good quality stuff. Like, you don't find ice cream too much that is as good or quality, especially French ice cream. It's, just, it's got that extra creaminess to it that you love. I do like how it's got, like, at least most of the flavors that were very good. Yeah. Like... I do have regrets on the price kind of thing, kind of, but... They, they also have a pizza flavor, but we weren't able to get that sideway. Darn it. <laughs> they, were out of, they were out of it at the time when I got the ice cream. But, let's see it. I would say it's you know, definitely you know, good quality ice cream. Again, I'm rating this you know, a little bit lower because of personal preference. Yeah, I'd say like it's you know, some of these are definitely competitive with even my favorites. I'd give it a shot. If you guys try it, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below because, like he said, everyone's taste is a bit different and you might like some, you might not like others like we do, so let us know what you think. Like that, you know, strange person who doesn't like the hot honey one. <laughs> but anyway guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this little review of Van Leeuwen ice cream. Mm -hmm. 
If you guys also haven't done so already, be sure to click the red button down below to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to receive notifications. And we will see you guys in the next video. Yep, yep. This is Crystal. And Charles. Signing off. And we love you. Bye, Bye birdies. birdies.